Are you looking for a bomb-proof canoe pack that can take whatever you can throw at it? Well, the Expedition Canoe Pack from Recreational Barrel Works might just be the ticket. Hey everybody, it's Jamie at Outdoors Oriented here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Recreational Barrel Works Expedition Canoe Pack. Now, the first thing that you might notice when you're looking at this is that it looks like a slightly different material than some of the other canoe packs you've seen on the market, and you'd be right. This is made out of a 1,000 denier Cordura nylon. A lot of other canoe packs on the market are made out of a coated polyester. So this is gonna present both some advantages and also some disadvantages. The disadvantage right off the top would be this material itself is not going to be waterproof. So whatever you put inside here, you're still going to need to put it into either a bunch of small dry bags or maybe one large liner inside. And that's just a personal choice. I myself actually like that ability to choose what we put in dry bags and what you just leave outside. So for example, maybe your pots and pans and your stove, that sort of stuff that doesn't absolutely have to stay dry can just go in small stuff sacks. And then it means that you can organize things a little bit better. Like I said, there's also a big liner that you can get for this so if you want that big cavern of just waterproof stuff then you can go that route too. Um, the advantage to going with something like this material is the durability and it's bomb proof like I mean this stuff is going to take whatever you can throw at it so uh, now let's just look at some of the features on this guy. So why don't we start off with the harness system. So on the back here, you can see we've got nicely padded shoulder straps and we've got some nice mesh on the inside. And then we've got a beefy padded hip belt with a big two inch buckle. The whole back panel here is also foam. I know it doesn't look like it, but we've got foam sandwiched between the layers of the inside of the pack and the outside. Um, so that's both gonna obviously provide you with some comfort and it's also gonna provide some protection um, against anything that might be poking at you from the backside there. So we don't have any adjustments here so it is a fixed length um, other than obviously your standard adjustment of tightening these but you can't adjust the height of the shoulder straps so that is something that you want to consider um, for most people it's going to fit fairly well um, but if you're either extremely tall or, or very short then uh, it is definitely a consideration so in in terms of what we can adjust we've got our load adjustment straps here so that's going to allow you to pull the pack a little bit closer to you um, and just sort of sort out the weight distribution and then on the bottom we've also got load adjustment straps right here for tightening it up and then a sternum strap across the middle that you can tighten up and keep the shoulder straps from sort of falling off to the sides. So moving on from the harness, on the back here, you can see we've got two nicely placed handles. So obviously this is a, a common way that you're gonna set it into a canoe or, or maybe down at the campsite. Um, so easy to grab a hold of these and just pull it up um, and we're sorted that way. So moving around to this side, actually we'll start with the side here. You can see we've got another handle on both of the sides of the pack. So again, just nicely padded like the other ones. So makes it easy for, for loading it in and out of the canoe. We've got three compression straps down the side here. So this is gonna allow you to cinch up the load, keep it as close to your back as you possibly can. Um, and is also gonna allow you to work in conjunction with the pocket that's right on the bottom here. And we could put something like maybe tent poles down inside here. Tent poles obviously don't need to stay completely dry and uh, so maybe if you want to maximize the space on the inside of the pack then that can go down there. Other people will take uh, maybe a, a camp saw or something like that. So anything that's fairly long and skinny um, can fit down into this pocket inside these compression straps and then just cinch it down. Uh, working our way around to the front you can see that we've got two buckles. This is going to allow access underneath the top lid and sort of underneath those straps, we've got a daisy chain um, down the side here. So that's webbing that's sewn in a bunch of different spots. And that just enables you to clip something on there. So uh, maybe you want to clip on a water bottle, um, your sports sandal, something like that. Uh, you've got that ability using the daisy chain there. Uh, we've also got a couple more spots, lash points here. So depending on, again, how you want to configure it, really the options are endless. They just want to give you every option to just do it how you want. Uh, but we do have a couple more points up here um, that you could use some straps or something and, and clip some stuff on. Before we actually get inside, let's take a look at the top. 
And you can see we've got a real beefy YKK zipper up at the top here. And this lid, you can see as I put my hand in there and expand it, is pleated. So that means once you've got this thing stuffed and it's all cinched down, common problem would be if we didn't have this pleat here, then there's really not actually that much space inside. But because it does expand open, you can actually still fit some stuff inside here. Um, so that's just gonna give you a little bit more organization. And this is again, something that this pack is gonna have an advantage to some of the other canoe packs out there, which really don't have all these exterior features and extra pockets and that sort of thing. So working our way inside under the lid, you can see we've got more compression straps up top here. So we've got one going right across and then we have two crisscrossing, which can also be gone just straight across. Um, and some people might wanna put something else underneath here, uh, like a closed cell foam pad or something like that. You could put underneath and across and then put the lid over the top. We've got an extra large tunnel here. So you can see that the pack itself more or less stops right here but if you really needed to, you could stuff it a little bit further um, or you can just draw that closed and obviously keep it, uh, keep it closed that way. Inside, like I said, it's just one big area. We don't have any extra pockets or anything like that. So you've just got to do your organization using your, uh, your dry bags and stuff sacks and that sort of thing. So we do this back up here. The last thing I want to say is just Recreational Barrel Works is a company that does really get out there and actually use the product. So it's well thought out and they've taken a lot of their own knowledge and kind of customer feedback into play here. And uh, so it's a thoughtfully designed canoe pack designed by canoe trippers. So if you're looking for a canoe pack, I think this is definitely one that you should put on your short list. And if you want to find out a little bit more info on it, visit us online at outdoorsoriented.com. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to be notified when we post more videos. And uh, I'll see you on the water.